Savannah Chrisley's ex-fiancé, Nick Curdiles, passed away at age 29. The former hockey star was killed in a motorcycle accident in Nashville early on Saturday morning. Savannah Chrisley and Nick Curdiles had an on-again, off-again relationship for many years. Nick Curdiles has since passed away. He was 29. The former hockey player and real estate agent perished early on Saturday morning in a motorbike accident in North Nashville, according to several accounts. According to Metro Police, he was operating his motorcycle when the accident happened just after 3.30 in the morning. According to reports, Nick ran a stop sign and collided with a BMW's driver's side. Police said that following the collision, the driver of the BMW stopped, and neither Nick nor the BMW driver shown any symptoms of intoxication, according to WKRN, which broke the news first. Nick passed away while being treated at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. On Friday night, Nick posted a picture of himself riding a motorcycle to his Instagram story. He captioned it Night Rider. Nick rose to notoriety after dating Savannah and appearing on Chrisley Knows Best. Just months after deciding to break their engagement and go back to dating, they called off their engagement permanently in September 2020. The Chrisley Knows Best actress commented, You've all been wondering dot 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 so here it is, next to a picture of herself and Nick grinning broadly on a beach. Oh how I wish this smile was on my face and that contagious laugh was bursting from my body right now, but alas, it isn't. Nick and I have chosen to end our relationship. Since there is no animosity between the two of us, it is difficult to say goodbye. Although we adore, respect, and deeply value one another, it is now time for each of us to take independent steps forward, she said. These last three years have been some of the best of my life, but I have to believe that God has much bigger plans for me, the speaker said. I have faith that God will use this adversity to create something lovely. Now, I ask for your consideration while I share this news. A year and a half after they began dating in November 2017, Savannah and Nick got engaged in April 2019. They had intended to get married in May 2020, but they later admitted that they were delaying their wedding. Savannah revealed that during the pandemic's peak, they used the time to improve themselves. You're free to set those boundaries and determine your own course of action. Additionally, you don't have to put someone else at ease while you're uncomfortable, she told ETW you're kind of in that situation right now. In order to avoid becoming a part of the divorce culture, we are both undergoing individual therapy to determine our roles in life and what we actually want from it.